Hi there, it's Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Do appreciate it. Uh, heading up to Sam's Club now to check on the toilet paper paper towel situation. Fill you in on that here in a second. Thanks for watching our videos. Do appreciate it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below, the bell notification button below, and the like button below. We'd really appreciate you doing that. That way, uh, the bell notification button will tell you when we put up future videos. Um, and we'd really like for you to hit the like button, uh, just because, to be honest with you. But uh, we're pulling into Sam's Club. We were at Costco earlier today, and they are out of toilet paper and paper towels. They have none. That's unusual for Costco. They've been pretty well stocked up the last uh, number of times we've been up here. Sam's Club has been regularly out of paper towel and, and toilet paper. So we're actually checking to see if they actually have some. But it's also, they call it the 10 Days of Thanks Savings. 10 Days of Thanks Savings uh, here at, uh, here at um, Sam's Club. So we're going to go see just what the 10 Days of Thanks Savings is all about. So we're inside Sam's Club now. Uh, really, really windy outside, so we didn't record anything outside coming in because you never would have heard it. But we're looking at 50 mile an hour gusts of wind today. So uh, inside at Sam's, and we want to go back and see if they actually have toilet paper and paper towels, which Costco surprisingly didn't have today. And they have not had any for the last couple of days. Also, we want to check out the 10 days of thanks savings and see if uh, the deals are actually worth it or not here at, uh, here at Sam's Club. Yeah, let's go left. I know one thing we got to get while we're here. Right there, the coffee cakes. These are our snacks for lunch. Not a bad price, eight thirty-eight for a box of coffee cakes, cinnamon streusel coffee cakes. So that's Steve's a snack. But that's really my breakfast at work. Yeah, it's my snack. Your breakfast. Huh. Would you eat green? Twinkies. I mean, it's, it's mint chocolate, but I don't know if I'd eat green, to be honest with you. Oh, do you remember when Twinkies was shutting down? Hostess Twinkies was shutting down? Oh, yeah. I remember that when they went bankrupt and you bought all those boxes of Twinkies and we sort had of them. like uh, sold them on eBay. Yeah, don't for... say anything. Oh, okay. Shh, quiet. Shh, shh, shh. We won't don't, say anything. Don't tell but, anybody. But, but you know, they sold really fast. Look next door Ding Dongs and Twinkies. I love Ding Dongs. No. I'm, I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. No ding-dongs. Oh, the Milanos, yeah. And I don't need Pop-Tarts right now. Was it down here or was that on the edge? I can't remember. They're there. Yeah. They're on the other side there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Grandma's cookies. What no, kind of, look at the calories in those. Look at what kind of cookies they got. Oh, no. Chocolate brownie. They got oatmeal raisin. Okay, fine. Fine. Where? Oh, right here. Yeah, this is another another kind of snack. The butter chessmen and the Milano dark, uh, dark chocolate cookies. So, Steve, but eats the Milanos, and I eat the Chessmen. We found this right before we went on our trip, and it's a really good snack. The reason why it's the calories are great, because it is only about 100 calories, 120 calories. So I'm happy with the dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. So there they are. It is part of the portion control as you're going into holidays because a lot of people do somehow gain weight during the holidays. Yeah, but I still look for goodies, and I'm going to continue to look for goodies. Ooh, no, no, I'll, I'll be good. Forgot to get last time we were up here was crescent rolls because they're on sale for two dollars off, and we actually forgot totally about it last time we were up here. So I got to get the crescent rolls. That's a four pack of crescent rolls, Pillsbury, Pillsbury crescent rolls, and we'll use these over the holidays. So we're going to slide on back and see if they have uh, paper towels and toilet paper. It looks like they have paper towels. 
So we might have to get paper towels while we're here. Unless they're already out of paper towels. We'll find out in a second here. Oh, good. Yeah, I'll grab one. Yeah, they actually have paper towels here. It's limit one, uh, which uh, the members of our paper towels aren't bad at all. So we will get one. They have no toilet paper, but they have paper towels. So well supplies last, it looks like, by the way. So whereas Costco had no toilet paper or paper towels, at least Sam had, uh, Sam's Club had paper towels. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. No, they don't have any. So we got Kleenex last time we were up here. And Peg wants to comment on it. So I, we had this one location in our house that actually, uh, where we put Kleenex. It's mm -hmm. in our, um, our closet. Right. And we always buy Kleenex from here. Yeah. When it's on sale. Mm -hmm. And they are smaller boxes. Thinner boxes. The boxes are smaller boxes. The ones before are bigger. They're about this much more. So you, the consumer, us, just want to let you know, just got a price increase. Yeah. Because it's the same price. I just, said this one was on sale, but it was originally fourteen ninety eight. You really just got a price increase because they increase. They decrease the, the size decrease of the box. The size of the box. You got less quantity, but the same price. Just to give you a warning, they do that on cereal boxes a lot too. Yep. So, this one at least, uh, a lot of times you'll see it. The package is um, a smaller package. Or I'm sorry, it's the same size package, but there's a less amount in there. So, they kind of like trick you that way. If I'm wrong on that, on a size, just put it in the comments below. Yeah, we don't mind being corrected. One of the things that uh, my kids like is the uh, Marie Callender's Chicken Pot Pies, and they're actually on sale. Three fifty off the ten ninety eight price down to seven forty eight. So I'm going to grab these because my kids actually love these. And again, this is something that's. Quick and easy, they can pop it in the microwave and have themselves a nice hot chicken pot pie. They do not have the P.F. Chang's beef and broccoli. Darn it. That was so good. You know, you might remember uh, a couple of months ago the meat shortage. I'm not hearing anything about a meat shortage at this point, but as we... Uh, as we still get numbers going up in this pandemic, uh, who knows what's going to be the next shortage. I've heard shortage of baking supplies. I've heard shortages of frozen pizza. We've already seen shortages of paper towel and toilet paper again. So who knows what they're going to have a shortage of. I want to see if they have um, wontons. Yep, they have babaos. I love these things. And there's that big one. Did you want to get the big, this yeah, one right here? Yeah, might as well. Might as well get sushi. Yeah. You know, if you knew sushi like I knew sushi. If you knew sushi like I now stop now. That's 38.30. I got the wrong glasses on to be able to see sizes. Hang on. Are you 30? 3830. Right here. 30, I'm sorry, 3832, rather. So Levi's is a special event savings of $24.98, and Steve is looking for a pair of pants and jeans. Yeah, and good luck in, ah, it's good luck in finding my, my size. I might go with... They do have a 30, I wear a 38, and they do have a 38, 32, or 38, 30, but they don't have a 38, 32.
which is unfortunate because that's kind of what I need. But sometimes they run long, so I'm going to get the 3830, and if they don't fit, I'll bring them back. But that's a good price. You know, $5 off Levi's. You don't often find that price, and I do need a new pair of jeans. So I'll try them. If they don't fit, I'll bring them back. The other thing that we wanted to look at uh, was toys. There's a couple of toys that are on that uh, 10 days of thanks savings. Um, and one of them was Connects. My kids loved Connects growing up. And I want to see if I can find them so I can show you. Ooh, baby. Yoda. They've got Baby Yoda. They have Baby Yoda. It's here. And Baby Yoda is only $21.98. Does it talk or anything or just sit there and look pretty? I think it just sits there and looks pretty. Wow. I just watched episode one of season two of The Mandalorian. So, I haven't decided if I like The Mandalorian better than I like Star Trek Discovery. Because I've always been a Trekkie. And I do like Star Trek Discovery. But The Mandalorian is actually pretty good. So I'm looking for Connects. Because uh, they're supposed to have a deal on Connects. Might be in the next aisle over. These don't look like toys down here. I don't see the connects. So they're supposed to be here. We've not been able to find them. They've got two deals, one on connects. And I can't read the other one, honey. What's the other one? The Children Color and Activity Collection. So one is $34.98. The other one is $12.98. Um, good price, for, uh, especially for the connects. And again, my kids loved connects growing up. So we will tell you the it's uh I'm really disappointed to be honest with you with the 10 days of thanks savings. It's pretty slim compared to the Costco one. Yeah, true that. You know, you look at the Costco one, there's so much more in there uh, and so much more stuff that people will use. Uh, the Sam's Club, I think it's stuff they want to get rid of for the most part. So that's a tel is that a telescope? That's not a bad price for a telescope. I had a telescope growing up. I loved it. Did you hear there was a meteor that came through, I think, last night or the day before? Yeah, yeah. Well, they're shooting stars all the time, so. You always have, if you see a shooting star, though, honey, you have to make a wish. Keep that in mind. Is you didn't there, know that? Is there? Yeah, you, you, if you see a shooting star, you make a wish. Yeah. Do they ever come true? Uh, it came true with you. Aw. Thank you, honey. Uh, so soda here at Sam's Club, same price for the most part that you're going to get at Costco. And again, uh, either or is going to be the cheapest price in town, for at least in our town anyway, because nobody's got soda on sale. And if you can find it for either three or four dollars, I'm sorry, three or four 12 packs for ten dollars, that's the best price. But uh, here it's like ten eighty eight for a thirty five pack. They do have a limit five uh, here at Sam's, which they don't have at Costco. There's no limit at Costco, but here at Sam's, there's a limit of five uh, on any canned soda. You got some Raisin Bran, didn't you, honey? I got my Raisin Bran. I'm out of Raisin Bran, so I got some Raisin Bran. Last time I was here, all I had was Raisin Bran Crunch. Now they've got Raisin Bran, so I'm happy. So as we wrap things up here at Sam's Club, um, didn't really get a lot. Um, actually, I, I think we got more than we thought we were going to get, to be honest with you. Uh, main reason we came up here was to check and see if they had toilet paper and paper towels, because Costco had none. They did have paper towels here. Didn't have toilet paper, but they did have paper towels. It's the 10 days of Thanksgiving at Sam's Club, and I'm a little disappointed uh, in their sale because they only have like two or three pages of items on sale, and a lot of it's big ticket items. We tried to find the Connects that were on sale. We couldn't find those. Um, I do like that arcade game. Don't get me wrong. I like that arcade game. Uh, but not a really big sale for the 10, uh, the 10 days of Thanks Savings. And a lot of it is big ticket items. So realistically, we got a couple of things that we wanted. I found my Raisin Bran. We got our uh, 
crescent rolls that we forgot last time we were here. I got uh, Chinese dumplings and we got uh, sushi. So uh, we got a few things up here, but realistically, um, an uneventful trip to Sam's Club. Yeah, one thing I didn't want to bring up at Sam's Club, um, and again, you're going to find this pretty much anywhere you go at this point, people not wearing their masks, not social distancing. Um, a lot of that you're going to find out uh, may change over the next couple of days, at least in our state anyway, because I think our governor is going to put teeth into the mask mandate to force the uh, stores to uh, make sure people wear masks or face guards. I know that uh, Costco had a sign up in front of their store saying you either wear, starting tomorrow, starting uh, the 16th, you either wear a, a mask or you have to wear a face shield if you cannot wear a mask. Uh, otherwise, they will not let you in the store or let you stay in the store. I, I saw a sign, uh, they put a sign in front of Sam's Club saying you must wear a mask or a face shield coming in. I don't know if they're going to enforce that or not. Today, they're not really enforcing it because not a lot of social distancing at Sam's. Few people, uh, there was a few people in there not wearing masks at all, which we've seen before at Sam's Club too, by the way. So uh, again, kind of an uneventful trip up here. Uh, but as we always say, thanks for watching our videos. Do appreciate it. Uh, hopefully it was helpful to you. We'd love for you to hit the subscribe button below. Also the bell notification button below. That way you'll get notified when we put up future videos. And, and as always, we'd love for you to hit that like button too. So thanks for watching.